My name is Eric Chalungtua. I'm a prosecution counsel here in Lamu County. Your Honor, that is, um, this is Zachary Marita. When I was nine years old, I was in class three. I knew I wanted to be a lawyer. So I made all my family and friends call me an advocate when I was very young. Eric is one of the four public prosecutors in Lamu, a coastal county with two courts and a mobile court service for its outer islands. He works for the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, also known as ODPP, which is mandated by Kenya's constitution to prosecute all criminal cases in the country. Eric is responsible for prosecuting a large number of cases forwarded by the police and other investigating agencies in Kenya. I have a passion for defending the people who can't defend themselves, and I believe this is the proper place for me to do the same. And uh, I've been a prosecutor for two years now. I'm loving the job. You decide to break the room. You find this exhibit inside. How or not can you say that you're the custodian of that? Prosecutors are charged with addressing violations of criminal law and promoting public safety. While carrying out these obligations, they must at all time consider the rights, needs, and interests of all members of the community, including victims and individuals who are accused of criminal conduct. Access to justice is a fundamental right in Kenyan law, yet many people don't understand how the justice system works. Most of the people who do their criminal offences, half the time they do not even know they're committing an offence. People do certain small crimes assuming I'll just get a fine, but you don't realise what you're doing is actually a very serious offence. So out of the knowledge, if people would get that kind of knowledge, we'd see a crime reduction rate. There is also a lack of understanding about what exactly prosecutors like Eric do. People assume that once someone has been charged or once someone has reported a case to the police, automatically that person will be sentenced and locked in jail. What they do not understand is um, you have to prove beyond reasonable doubt that someone is guilty. So you might know someone is guilty, but you have no evidence. So if legal aid and awareness was taught to people, they would understand how important it is to not only charge someone but to have proper evidence to charge the same. Prosecutors must be impartial. They must also act to prevent and avoid abuse of the legal process. You know, we've spoken about corruption a lot. It's become automatic to think every public officer is corrupt, which is not the case. But in Lamu, I believe in the past few years, it is a change in Lamu. People actually do believe in the justice system, which is a good thing. It's positive for us especially because we do our best to make them comfortable and believe that we're here to fight for their rights. In Lamu, there's very few number of advocates. You can count them in the palm of your hands. So that means there's not much assistance to most of the people in this community. Since they cannot afford to outsource advocates, they usually end up defending themselves. And like I said, they do not know the law. Prosecutors are a vital link to the justice chain. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime is assisting the ODPP to increase policy support, training and equipment for their workforce. This is through the Program for Legal Empowerment and Aid Delivery in Kenya, otherwise known as PLEAD, a partnership involving the Government of Kenya, the European Union, United Nations and civil society organizations in improving the delivery of justice services and the use of alternatives to imprisonment. This program has the vision of decongesting prisons and bringing justice closer to the people. And one of the main areas that they would like to see, we would like to see is that the prison empt is emptied of petty offenders. So we're doing things that will help decongest the prison. Alternatives to imprisonment, such as diversion and plea bargaining, give people a second chance rather than a criminal record, especially first-time petty offenders. This will help because um, if you go to any prison, you'll realize um, some people, though they have made offenses, it's not worth them being incarcerated. 
it's also good because um, there's a lot of backlog and we are trying to finish many cases. So if some cases can avoid going to court and they can be dealt with by someone pleading guilty and getting a sentence that is favorable to them, we encourage people to follow the same. Um, right now we are trying the same. We are teaching ourselves um, plea bargaining and diversions as a way of practicing first. It's been there, but it's a new concept that we're trying to teach each other. But it's the best way forward to reduce the number of cases in court that really don't need to be there. And also seek justice for first-time offenders, you know, people who can be reformed that don't really need sentencing. Not every criminal is a bad person.